it's Shay, and I've got my first post review. I have all these firsts, which is super exciting. And it's a Craftably. It's the only Craftably I've ever purchased and my first one to finish. So let's go ahead and start going over everything. And I'll just tell you a little bit about my experience and what I thought, and we'll just cover everything. So first off, it's a 30 by 40, so it's a great snack size. Um, it was one that I have, I've been working on for a while. I would just keep it downstairs in my bedroom since it, I have a little table in here and it was a good thing just to kind of work on, you know, in between some others that I had going on. So it's a 30 by 40, like I said, 30 by 40 round and it's called Pink Flower. I'm not sure if it's in stock right now, but you know, Craftably just came out with a ton of pre-orders yesterday and I ordered some of those. So I'm super excited to get those and show those to you guys. Um, Craftably only does licensed artwork. So this is just a stock photo from Shutterstock. I thought it was really pretty though. I, uh, I have a lot of mermaid photos and I also have a lot of flowers, I noticed. I love succulents and I thought this was really pretty. So I, that's why I got this one. It's got 38 colors. And the only thing that caused me a little bit of trouble, there was two symbols that were, it was two of the blues and they were right next to each other. And they both had blue backgrounds and they both were black symbols. One was a diamond and the other was a spade. And it was really, it was, there was, it was hard at times to really, let me show you guys the two symbols right here. So 24 is the black spade with the blue background. And then 37 is the black diamond with the blue background. So they were just really, really, you know, similar. And so I really had to struggle with that a little bit, but you know, they weren't, it was just where some of the blue was. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, let's see. After that, there were plenty of leftover drills. As you can see from my container, I had plenty. I mean, there, there's a lot left over. So I was definitely good there. I wasn't worried or concerned about, you know, missing out on any colors. Trash. Um, actually, all of this isn't even, there's not even very much, but some of these may be misplaced drills that I just would find on the table and I would just, you know, throw in here because I didn't know which one they were. So very, very minimal trash. One thing I did absolutely love, and I wish more companies would do this, was the size of the symbols and labels. I mean, they were just so easy to spot the symbol that I needed. So I really do appreciate, when I first saw it, I thought, gosh, I don't think those are gonna fit on my Elizabeth Ward containers. They did, and they fit perfectly. I just cut the number, put it on one side, and then put the you know symbol on the other, but really, really easy to, to spot. Now, this is a sticker. I know some people will stick these on the, um, lids of their containers. I don't use lids. I know these come with a lid, but I don't use a lid. But um, this is a sticker. So those are always fun to have if you have a log book. It's a little big for a log book. But um, I just would keep it here so it would just remind me of, you know, what the painting looked like because when I diamond paint, I use the release, release papers. So a lot of times I can't see the complete painting and it's always fun to kind of see, okay, this is what I'm working on and this is what it's gonna look like when it's complete. So, so after, I was, was gonna show you my, my little ritual that I do after I complete a painting. So I go ahead and get, I'm gonna move these for a second. I go ahead and get a rolling pin. And this is a lot of times, this is my daughter's job. She loves to roll. And I just kind of roll it. Oh, I heard a little snap there. Just to make sure all the diamonds are all in place, there's nothing loose. So I'll do this, and I love to hear that pop, love it. So I go one way, and then I'll go the opposite way, just to make sure they're all down. Okay, then after I do that, I've got a toothbrush that I use, and I just kind of gently brush it, it gets any, because I have two dogs, it gets any loose dog hair. Sorry, the sun is trying to creep in and I keep moving my table back and moving my camera. It's, I'm sitting near the windows. Um, yeah, so I just get a, a toothbrush and I just kinda, and also this gets any um, residue from any wax and it kinda shines up all the other diamonds. Oh, there's something there. 
Also, it also gives you an opportunity to, you know, look and see if there's any drills that you missed. Kind of helps you just go over it one more time. So, I think I've got it. I really wish there was, the only thing about this one that um, it didn't have is it didn't have any ABs, but that's okay. I could have added some if I wanted to, but I just wanted to do it as is. But I know Craftably is now offering, you know, ABs with their kits, so I'm super excited about that because it always makes it just a little bit shinier. So after I do this, um, I go ahead and if I'm not gonna frame it, which I don't think I'm gonna be able to frame this one, I've got two art portfolios that I keep under my bed. I've got one that's smaller and then one that's larger. And I'll probably do a video showing you guys those and then I can link those in the description so you can see how I store you know, the paintings I don't frame. And you'll be able to get an idea of, um, also the ones I've finished or that I haven't given away. I've given away quite a few as gifts. Pretty much everybody in the family has gotten one. So I think I've worn that out already. Um, also, before I go, I wanted to just give a heartfelt thank you to some of my friends here on YouTube that have been so supportive and so welcoming and just amazing. And if you haven't, I'm sure you've already subscribed to them, but if you haven't, I will have them linked in the description below. And I want you guys to check them out if you haven't. They are just the best people. And I've met such wonderful people here in this community. And here's just a few of them. And I know I'm not mentioning everybody, but this is just a few. Um, we've got Urelli with Urelli's Diamond Painting Plans. Then there's Randy with You Can Call Me Butter. Then Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter. And then Abigail Marie with Diamond Painting with Abigail Marie 007. Those are just a few. I and mean, there's so many, but just, I mean, that's a lot of names right there. And in itself, it's just to say these are people that have, you know, been helping me and supporting me. And I am having such a good time doing this. So I'm glad they talked me into it. Happy that I get to, you know, share the things that I love. I love diamond painting and it's so fun to share that with other people that also enjoy it and show them some of the things that you do and the, how you do it because maybe they can learn something from it. I know I, I have and I do. So um, I think that's it for this video. But now that I've completed this, I don't have another kit right now. So my next video will be a kitting up and I think I know which one I'm going to do. I'm really on the fence. So, but I, I always have to have one. I can't just go and not have one. I've got to have one going at, all the time. So that'll be my next video. The kids go back to school tomorrow after being off for spring break. So that'll give me an opportunity to do a video for you guys. Okay. All right. I think that's it. If you have not subscribed, please do. And please hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And also, you know, do the bell so that you can be notified whenever I do my next video. Okay? All right, y'all take care and have a good day. All right, bye.